Okay, we've made it to Rincon, to our Airbnb. Look at all of these plantain trees. I cannot wait to eat some fresh plantains. I can't wait to see the inside of this Airbnb, but first we have to unpack the car. So we've made it here and we've unpacked everything, but we don't know which apartment is ours. It's like it is a double story house or maybe even three stories, but they're all broken up into like separate apartments. Uh, this actually happens to be ours. We didn't know that at the time, but they, they have a nice little sitting area and um, pool table. And we didn't know how to open the gate, so Chris climbed over it and then I found the little opening gadget thing. How funny. So the uh, key to the place is kept in a lockbox because the woman that rents this out is actually a real estate agent. I think maybe that's why she was able to rent it out so cheap is because she's just waiting for it to sell, but it was only $35 a night. This is our first look at the apartment. We are so happy that we finally have made it here and we are out of the car, so woohoo for that! This is really, really cute. There's a the little kitchen. They had the TV on for us. Here's the bed. The bathroom is um, completely separate, but for $35 a night, you have everything that you need. We've got a refrigerator, a stove. I love these 70s style chairs. Those were pretty awesome. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and unpack some of our stuff or unload some of our stuff. This is the bathroom. I thought that these little plants were so cute that I actually bought some when I got back home. Okay, we're gonna head into downtown Rincon um, or like the square of the town in that area. Uh, we want to get something sweet and maybe a coffee. We keep seeing these food trucks along the road uh, that are like have frappes. We just keep seeing frappe, frappe, frappe. We want to know what the heck this frappe thing is. Like, what does it taste like? What is it? So we're going to try to find one here in Rincon. I am so sorry about the grinding sound of the ears of the camera, but I want you guys to be able to hear the coquie frog. It's the coquie frog. That's the like, um, state animal. It makes that noise all night long. It goes and that's its name. I'm just saying that we made it to Rincon, that we um, love our little Airbnb for $35 a night. You can't beat it. I'm going to have to tell Rosie about it so that she has somewhere to stay when she comes back to the island. Um, but I mean, at this point, that's redundant because I've said that uh, like uh, 30 times now. So I'm just going to shut up and we'll see you when we get to downtown Rincon. Okay, so we just got to this little downtown part of Rincon. We're going to get out and we're going to explore it because I didn't even know that it existed. Last time Rosie and I were in Rincon, we didn't come to this part of town. Um, we actually didn't do very much exploring of Rincon at all. That's where our Airbnb was, and that's where we came back to, like, you know, each night to sleep. But we actually were going on a lot of adventures in other towns. We were driving back and forth across the island a lot. And by we, I mean Rosie was driving. I was along for the ride. There's no way I could ever drive here. Ever, never, never, ever. It is so crazy. It's like Mario Karts on steroids. Like, it's no joke. I, can't, I couldn't do it. So this is all new to me. Um, I, yeah, don't remember any of this. Okay, we found the bakery, so we're definitely going to be able to get sweets, which is awesome. If you know me, you know I love sweets. Push, not pull. <laughs> I uh, actually ordered a hot chocolate and Chris got a coffee. 
They both came in like real small little containers, which I've noticed that's how they all come on the island, or in little tiny containers. Okay, we're cashing out. These pastries up here are actually ours too. We got a couple of sweets. I'm telling the girl, mi espanol es no bueno. And she's like, mi English is no espan- or is no, uh, no good. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. My, my Spanish wasn't good. Her English wasn't good. It doesn't matter. We figured it out. Just like everything else along this trip. <laughs> there was literally a DJ playing in the town square. So I started dancing as soon as we came out to the music. Puerto Ricans must really love their music because they had a DJ in the main square and then right around this building they had a live band playing and the two kind of drowned each other out so I don't know. Anyways, we're going to unpack our sweets and our coffees and stuff and we're going to sit here and we're going to watch the live band play for a little bit. <laughs> Grab yourself a hot cup of tea or a coffee and join us. We're just gonna sit here and watch the band. Chris got this pastry. It had white chocolate and dark chocolate on top with some kind of cream in the middle. He said that it was actually really good. Oh fuck, I burnt myself again. Like Felicia, why don't you realize the coffee is hot here? You've burnt yourself like four times now. Seriously. Um, I got this apple pastry turnover thing and it wasn't really the best I've ever had but it also wasn't the worst I've ever had. It was a little bit dry but it wasn't horrible. Um, the rain is going to start rolling in soon so we're going to watch the band for a little bit before they start to call it quits and put everything away. <laughs> The guy is starting to put plastic over the instruments. I think they're going to call it quits. Well, I'm glad we got to see it um, before the rain ruined it all. Once the band stopped playing, we could hear the ocean. So we are on a mission to find that ocean or the beach or whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, we're just walking toward the sound of waves and hopefully we'll run into something. Have you ever said something and it just comes out wrong? That's what happened right here. Uh, we both had things in our hands, but I wanted to hold his hand, so I'm like, can you finger me? Like, I meant, like, can you give me your fingers so we can interlock fingers and hold fingers since both our hands are full, but it came out. Can you finger me? Check out this awesome shark that has butterflies coming out of his mouth. I don't know why I was so fascinated by this. I just was. Airbnb doesn't have like soap and shampoo and stuff. Uh, we're the, actually the first people to ever stay in this particular Airbnb. So we made a quick stop at the corner store to get some essential things that we need um, to bathe. Also, we need some water. There isn't any water or anything like that. Um, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to cash out here. Then we're going to head back to the Airbnb and we're gonna call it a night. We've had a long day of driving, so we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope everybody has a good night. If you enjoyed this, please feel free to share it. Um, if you liked it, let me know that you liked it.